Okay, so now for this video, we will look at the first law of thermodynamics and solve an introductory question. So if we read the question now, we know we have a gas that's contained within a piston cylinder assembly. The gas does 250 joules of work on the surroundings as 350 of joules of heat are added through the base of the, specifically the assembly here. So ignoring kinetic and potential energy effects, the change in energy of the system is most nearly what? So we want to find the change in energy of the system. So what we have is two things. We have work and heat. The difference between work and heat is the change in energy of the system, and we call this the change in internal energy. So this is based on the first law of thermodynamics. And we know in the handbook, there's an exact definition given under a section bolded as the first law of thermodynamics in the new FE handbook. So that definition says, the first law of thermo is a statement of conservation of energy. So they tell us the net energy crossing the system boundary is equal to the change in energy inside the system. So that's just the formal definition, but what does this mean visually? So we know, using this specific case, we have a piston cylinder assembly. Let's draw a picture of that. So we have, let's draw the cylinder first on the outside. And we're looking at a cross section here of this assembly. So this is the cylinder and we have a piston that's going to be this top portion. So I'll call this the piston. And the outside is just the cylinder, right? We're looking at a cross section here. So we know on anything outside of this is the boundary. Sorry, the surroundings. So anything out here is the surroundings. Surroundings. And we also know we have a gas, right? So we have, we're talking about a gas here. So in here we have a gas and I'll use green for the gas. This is our gas. So I'll just call it the gas in here. So 250 joules of work are done on the surroundings. So the gas does the work. So essentially here we're looking at a system boundary. So the question we should ask based on the definition they tell us in the handbook, the net energy crossing the system boundary is equal to the change in energy inside the system which is basically the change in internal energy but the key word is system boundary we have to understand that the system boundary in this specific case will be the boundary around the gas because it's the gas that's doing the work and it's the gas that's receiving the heat so the gas the surroundings so the gas does work on the surroundings as the 350 joules of heat are added to the gas specifically from the base so we know the system boundary I have to draw it around the gas so we have to isolate and strictly look at the gas our system boundary if we were given a different question it could be the piston and the gas so that makes it a different question but here we're focusing on the gas that's receiving heat and doing work. So now we have to denote the positive sign convention for heat and work. Q's heat, W's work. So we know the gas does 250 joules of work on the surroundings. It does the work on the surroundings. So what's happening here is this gas is going to do some work on the surroundings, right? So again, the system is the gas because we drew this boundary. So let me just mark that as the system that we're looking at. So work is being done on the surroundings. And the heat, which is Q, is added through the base. So Q is added to the gas. So there's going to be some addition of heat, which is Q. So this is our Q value. Okay, so now we have to look at the positive sign convention. Is Q positive or negative? And is work positive or negative? So we know Q, what comes in here, is being added. So heat, Q is 350 joules of heat are added to the gas, to the system, which is the gas. So from the system point of view, we're receiving Q, so Q is going to be positive. 
So if you look in the handbook, it says that heat Q is energy transfer due to temperature difference and it's considered positive if it is inward or added to the system. Here we're receiving the Q, the heat, so it's inward, so it's positive. Now work, is work negative or positive? In this case, the gas does the work. So work is being done by the system, which is our guess, based on that boundary we drew. So we know the system is going to be doing work, so work will be negative. So this is negative. And in the handbook it says work is considered positive if it's outward or work done by the system. So work is positive if it's outward and done by the system. I believe that is a typo. It's a typo in the handbook. So it makes sense because if we add, we're adding Q to the gas, so it's positive. And the gas will do work on the surroundings. So work is done by the system, which is the gas. So here it's negative. So I believe in the handbook, it should say work is considered positive if it's inward or work done on the system, right? If the piston was doing work on the system, the gas would be receiving that work, so it's positive. So just make sure, I believe that's a typo, correct me if I'm wrong, but we know here Q is positive, work is negative. So now let's finally solve this question. The change in energy in the system is most nearly what? This change is in energy is basically using the first law of thermal, and it's the conservation of energy based on what we usually do for water, water analysis, or thermal, or any change, conservation of energy system, we have whatever comes in has to come out, and that will be the change in energy in this case. So we know the change in internal energy is given as an equation in the handbook, delta U, which is the change in internal energy, equals to Q minus W, so let me use the correct colors there. So Q is red minus the work in this case. So we know the work is going to be negative because it comes out. So that's why I brought that negative. If it was work done on, be careful. You have to change the sign. Q is positive, so keep a positive sign there. And we know on the right, this is the change in internal energy plus the change in kinetic energy, if we had kinetic energy, plus the change in potential energy. But we know here in this basic example that we're assuming and ignoring potential and energy effects, so there is none. So these go away. So the change in internal energy, it's going to be Q. So Q, what's Q? It's the heat added, so 350 joules. That's given to be 350 joules. 350 joules minus the W, which is the negative. So it's going to be negative 250, the work, the work done by the gas, negative 250 joules. So we just take the difference there and we should get 100 joules for that. This is our answer. This is the change in internal energy and it should be A. And that's all for this example.